living through history. An Iowa nurse who was a nurse during the polio epidemic is urging Iowans to get a COVID-19 vaccine. Justin Serency sharing her experiences. Life under the pandemic is unprecedented. It's hard to compare because we never expected anything this vicious. For 93-year-old Charlene Nystrom, it's history repeating. That was in the 19. 40s when I was helping in the and I was a student now here we are in the 2020 and and it's still there's something else that's worse a lot worse Charlene graduated from Boone High School in 1946 and went straight to nursing school at Creighton University in Omaha on the front lines in the middle of the polio epidemic with no vaccine it was Pretty scary to be there. Today, ventilators are in high demand with hospitals reaching capacity. Charlene says medical officials shared a similar frustration with the lack of iron lungs helping patients with polio who could no longer breathe on their own. They would bring children in in the evening and, and sometimes they wouldn't last till morning. It affected their lungs and paralyzed their lungs and then they they passed away. Social distancing forced families apart. State Library of Iowa photos show parents climbing ladders at Blank Hospital in Des Moines just to speak to their polio-stricken children through a window. I think there were limited visits, maybe a few, an hour or so a day, and of course they had to be gowned up and, and relatively safe. Graduating in 1949, Charlene moved back to Iowa to work at the Boone County Hospital. The worst of the polio outbreak came in 1952. Of the nearly 58,000 U.S. cases, there were over 3,500 cases in Iowa. Over 3,000 Americans died, and over 21,000 had mild to disabling paralysis. At the time, it was the worst epidemic in American history. In 1954, 13,000 children in Woodbury, Lynn, and Scott counties were the first in Iowa to take part in the polio vaccine trials. While the vaccine went public a year later, Charlene says just like today, medical officials faced skepticism surrounding the medical breakthrough. There were still parents that didn't want to have their child have it. And that was another thing we had to face. Long since retired, the toll the pandemic took on her and her medical colleagues over seven decades ago still feels fresh. That's always your goal as a nurse, to help people. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Don't cry. I can't help it. Just like her frontline battle against polio, Charlene hopes Iowans thank their health care workers by getting vaccinated. I'd urge them to be sure and get a vaccine. Don't hesitate. I hate to see anybody lose their lives over it.